Howdy everybody, it's me, Manic Mark. I'm on Manic Mark TV right now. Coming to you from the bunker system making this video, which I'll probably edit, but on Manic Mark TV, you get the unedited version full of the goofs and the stupidity and the things I shouldn't say, but do anyway. The nice thing about editing is that you can you can you don't have to apologize for the things that you cut out because but now I may have to. I may have to look over here and apologize when I say something, even though you won't have any idea. Um, Friday the 13th, Fast Approaches. As of right now, there are two paintings of mine that do not have the cheap horror opening bid of $13.13. The Jihadist Easter Bunny painting, which I thought would probably get a bid on it right away because it's the Easter Bunny painter, and he's... Anyway, what was I thinking of? There's so many things. The other painting, I can't remember what it is right now. Anyway, in the mail today, let's go right to that. In the mail today, I got a fabulous painting from Carl Nolan, who's doing the, the challenge. He's the international recipient of Folk Art Evil. There's a painting. It's like, that one's got a bit on it anyway. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do the TV thing in this all the same. I don't even know if they can hear me. I'm, I'm pretty far away from the, the, the webcam. Might have to turn the microphone up. I don't know. Anyway, I own an unoriginal Carl now. It's my frame because I, I couldn't bring myself to go have... First of all, real frames are for are really are expensive. You all know that. So I made my own frame, and I think it suits the, the painting better than an expensive um, conservator's grade framing job done on Carl's painting, which was done on a, a soup can box thing. Okay. Now, I'd like to ask Carl, if he will, see I'm ready to hang it on the wall right there, if he will provide me with, because you're going to send me something else if you haven't already, a, a brief explanation, handwritten with signed explanation of what the deal is with the painting. Just very short, brief, so I can put it with it, so it has a story behind it, so when it moves on from Manic Mark, like to the Louvre, to hang in the Louvre, people will know what the hell going on in this painting. I love it. He also sent me uh, an electronic music record by one of my favorite labels, Turnabout. Very happy to get that. And a very small run private press EP of some type of experimental artist in England who hated what he did, destroyed most of his stuff, and, and, and de worked a deal with Carl to give him the remainder. So I have one of those. I'm going to play um, some of that. Now, I know what you're thinking. Some of you are going to want to say it's a good thing he destroyed. But that's not the point. The point is not that at all. Anyway, now we're going on to my painting for for today, which I'm back to an, a sheet of cardboard, is titled The Colossus and the Amazon Queen. Now, I watched a movie last night by the same title on one of my 50-pack DVDs, which I've been going through for about three years now because it's hard for me to get the wife to go, okay, put another one of those <laughs> shitty movies in. I kind of cut out the thing where I said the word. And we're down to like the, the last disc. There's like 15 discs. And this was really a fabulous movie. There's gems. There's gems on it. But you can get it on The reason I mentioned in the title completely, and speaking of it, is you can go to YouTube and watch the whole thing. It's some kind of foreign, probably Italian. I don't sure. I'm not sure. I didn't really look into it. Um, muscle Man movie, like a Hercules type movie. Uh, Rod Taylor's in it. If I got the name right. Uh, Rod is the star of the how? What the? Oh, the, the Time Machine. The the one that won the Academy Awards for award for special effects. Powell and George Powell, right? You don't come here for the facts. <laughs> no, 
that's for sure. Anyway, and he's in this, it's, and I kept thinking, I know the guy, I know the guy, and then, I, anyway. But it's it's a really weird movie in that it's a standard thing where men get sh shipwrecked or dumped off on the island. There's the Amazon woman, women, but it kind of goes in. Usually, you don't, you know, you see much about what goes on after the Amazon get a hold of the the men. In this movie, it's all about that. There's lots of confusing, confusing sexual situations where you don't know whether the guys on the boat were, you know straight or gay and are are the women straight or gay and it but then there's like the the standard early 60s kind of like you know the the man sort of like imposes himself on the helpless woman and and the amazons they they all like it but they're not allowed because they're allowed to have sex once and then they put the men in a, in a salt mine, okay? And the queen's not allowed to have sex at all. And she just drinks. She's an alcoholic Amazon queen who hates it because she can't even kiss men. She just has to, to drink to get, to, to get past the, the thing where she thinks she's missing something. And it's also, did I put this up on the screen? I probably did. And it's also tax day for me where... I, it's my yearly raping by the federal government. Now, I just say yearly because it's like the big chunk. Every day, you're getting it up the... You know what? And I'm not going to go into it. So, But I, I put this pit where they throw the babies in. The Amazon women throw the babies in. Do they throw... They're always capturing men. What do they do with the male babies? They don't raise them. They throw them in a pit, apparently. Well, the pit represents the IRS sucking the life out of everybody on the face of the planet. The tax of blood, feed the void. It's a void. It's a never-ending void of throwing your money into... Never mind. So i got to cut that out because I said I wasn't going to go into stuff like that. Now you're asking yourself, Manic Mark, how can you put poor Carl's painting in a video with one of your paintings? Doesn't that seem like not right somehow? I thought about that. Now I cut it out because I was kind of... I thought I was going to say stuff about Carl, then people are going to feel left out like how I connect to Carl, and, and it's, I connect to other artists in, in, in different ways, but there's something about Carl's work that it's, maybe it's the, the naked woman and the, and the zombies in the, in the graveyard, and what I know to be the meaning behind the work, that, that, that reminds me so much of how I construct and build and, and approach what I do, okay? And I think that's the special connection there. So that's why I'm able to put his art in with, with my crazy art and, 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 and not feel like I should have split them up somehow because why would you want to like, well, see, now people over there are going to know. The people that are watching are going to know that I don't have any idea what I'm talking about. And I'm probably not going to use do this Manic Mark TV ever again. <laughs> Except for Friday the 13th. Okay, nobody's watching. Let's check and see if anybody's watching. Uh, it's called a slideshow. It's a slideshow. Tink asked me how I did the images when I'm offline. Uh, go to your dashboard and look for slideshow. Um, there's two, two, there's two options in one slideshow, and, and I copied images just off of YouTube. Okay, which about the same size as the the, the frame that. Uh, Ustream provides, and I, I just screen grabbed them, 20 of them you can use, and I, and I you upload them, and, and there you go, and that's how I did it, and it just does the thing. Okay. Does anybody out there know what the social stream is on Ustream? Is that like, how is that different than chat? To me, I'm thinking it's like um, people that go to Ustream and look around, and th those are the people that like are just dropping in, and, and, ch and, and to chat, you have to, like, what? What do you have to do? What special do you have to do? You don't, right? What's the difference? I have no idea what the hell the difference is. And there were some, there were some like, messages there from people. And I, I just wondered if Ustream just planted some things like, hey, this is a really great channel. I'll come back again. You know, do they just plant things to make you feel like you're, you know, part of a community or whatever? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's play the song. Or I've already played it. I've been playing the thing through this. I know I'm. Ha I'm knowing that's the way I'm going to handle the the music. I don't even know what the artist's name is. Maybe ordinary. If there's like a couple names, but they're all the stuff sounds the same. That doesn't matter either. Let's go back and check this thing. <laughs> Yeah.
Somebody walking beside me. 